hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when wi-fi is not working on your asus computer so the first step is to press fn plus f2 on the keyboard to disable airplane mode and which will enable your wi-fi so if i press fn plus f2 on my keyboard here you can see the airplane mode is on right now now if i press fn plus f2 the airplane mode will be off and which will allow me to connect to my wi-fi so make sure that uh, you you know use the your wireless key on the keyboard so you have to look for the you know it it may not be always fn plus f2 in some model number you have to look for the wireless icon on the key keyboard so any key which has the wireless icon uh, wireless icon on the on that particular key you have to press that particular key to enable or disable the wi-fi so in it may be on the top row of a keyboard you where you find all the function key like f1 f2 f3 or maybe print screen so you have to use that key to enable your Wi-Fi and the second step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle shut down your computer and then you go ahead and after you shut down your computer go ahead and switch off your Wi-Fi router and then after a couple of uh, seconds maybe 15 to 20 seconds go ahead and restart your router so once the all the lights are up and running on your router then restart your computer and then connect to your Wi-Fi now the third step is to enable Wi-Fi from network connection. To enable Wi-Fi, uh, go ahead and click on the Wi-Fi icon or the internet icon on the bottom right and then click on internet and network settings over here and then click on change adapter, adapter options and here you can see the Wi-Fi. So if this is off, you have to make a right click then you have to click on. So I'll show you if this is disabled like this, you have to make a right click then click on enable and which will go ahead and enable the Wi-Fi and you can go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. Now, sometimes you can go ahead and disable and enable it once again. So just make a right click, click on disable and then make a right click, then click on enable. So sometimes disabling and enabling the Wi-Fi also fixes the problem. Now the next step is to check DNS server address. To check DNS server address, again on the bottom right click on the Wi-Fi icon or the internet icon then click on network and set in network and internet settings then here you will see change adapter option so click on it make a right click on wi-fi then click on properties now here you can see internet protocol version 4 tcp slash ipv4 so select it then make a right click and then click on properties just select it then click on properties then here you can see the option which says use the following DNS server addresses put it you go ahead and check it and once you check it for preferred DNS server enter 8.8.8.8 so just enter 8 8.8.8.8 and then for alternate DNS servers type in 8.8.4 and then 0.4 and then you have to click on OK and then apply OK and then click on close and then try to connect to your Wi-Fi now the next step is to check w WLAN auto config services in services so just type in services in windows search box then make a right click on services then click on run as administrator and then you have to look for the services which says wlan auto config so just press the w key now we have to find wlan So here it is WLAN auto config. So you have to make a right click. Make sure that this is running and is set to automatic. So make a right click, then click on properties. And make sure the startup type is selected to automatic. Then click on apply. Okay. 
and then make a right click once again and then click on restart now after that you go ahead and try to connect to your Wi-Fi once again now the next step is to turn off allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and it has to be done from device manager so make a right click on start menu then click on device manager now under network adapter expand the network adapter then make a right click on your wireless card and then make a right click and then click on properties go to power manage uh, click on power management tab over here and then if there is an option which says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power uncheck it if there is a check uncheck it then click on ok and then you can restart your computer and then try to connect the next step is to run a network troubleshooter to run a network troubleshooter make a right click on the internet icon on the bottom right and then click on troubleshoot problems and once this is complete you can go ahead and try to connect to your Wi-Fi now the next step is to run this command in command prompt just type in cmd in windows search box and here you can see the command prompt make a right click then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and run all these command the commands are provided in the video description so you can get it from there so copy this command paste the command in the command prompt window hit the enter key on the keyboard try the next command hit the enter key if you receive any kind of error message just ignore it and move on to the next command now after this go ahead and restart your computer once you run all the command restart your computer and then go to the internet icon and then connect to your Wi-Fi now the next step is to update wireless driver so in order to update wireless driver visit this link this is go and visit asus website so open any browser on your computer open this link then here you have to go ahead and if you have a laptop select laptop if you have a desktop select desktop so just select your model number so select your series this is this is just an example so make sure that you are selecting your series and then select your model number whatever is your model number and then here you can see the model number click on driver and tools this is just an example make sure that you select your model number then click on drivers and tools and then here you can see drivers and tools you have to select your windows windows 10 and here you have to find your wireless driver so here you can see the wireless I can see the wireless driver over here click on download once you click on download a exe file will download you have to go ahead and extract this ex, you know zip file or if it's an exe file you have to go ahead and run the exe file and then you have to install the network driver on your computer then you can go ahead and try to connect to your wi-fi the next step is to uninstall wireless driver from device manager so open device ma device manager once again make a right click on start menu click on device manager then expand network adapters and then make a right click on uh, on your wireless card then click on uninstall device then click on uninstall now once the uninstall is done restart your computer and then you can go ahead and connect to your wi-fi this time it will be asking for your password so enter the password select your wi-fi then click on connect and then it will be asking for the password so enter the wi-fi password and then you can go ahead and connect the next step is to disable and enable Wi-Fi. So I've already shown you that uh, from network, uh, you can go ahead and disable and enable Wi-Fi. So I'll show you once again. So click on the Wi-Fi icon, then click on network and internet settings. And then click on change adapter option and then make a right click, then click on disable. And then you have to go ahead and enable it once again. Now, I forgot to tell you one thing that uh, when you update the wireless driver of course on this computer it's not working because the wireless uh, Wi-Fi is not working so you will not be able to access this website so for this you have to go ahead and uh, open this website on another computer so or else you can use Ethernet cable so if your computer has an Ethernet port go ahead and connect the Ethernet cable and then you can go online then you can go ahead and go to SS website and you can go ahead and download the driver 
if you don't have a ethernet connection you if, or if you don't have a ethernet port on your computer then in that case you can go to another computer you need another computer which has the internet access then go to this website and you have to go ahead and download the driver and then you have to transfer the file to the usb flash drive you have to connect the usb flash drive to the computer download the file then you have to you know, transfer the file to the usb flash drive and then you have to go ahead and use that flash drive you have to connect to the asus computer and then you can install the driver now the next step is to reset network to reset network you have to go ahead and click on start menu click on settings then click on network internet and then click on network reset so once you click on network reset you will see the screen you have to click on reset now and you have to click on yes now once you click on yes you have to restart your computer and after you restart your computer you have to go ahead and click on the internet icon and then you have to select your network then click on connect it will be asking for the password enter the password and then you can connect the next step is to reset windows 10 if nothing is working you have to go ahead and reset windows 10 to reset windows 10 open settings and then in the search you can go ahead and type in reset and then click on reset this pc and then click on get started and here you will see two option which says keep my files remove everything so when you select the option which says keep my files you will get rid of your application and settings but it will keep your personal file and once you select remove everything you will lose everything so before you go for this option make sure that you back up all your data so so that you don't lose anything so select the option whatever you want and then go ahead with the you know on screen instruction and then reset your computer and that will help you to connect to your wi-fi so one of the step will definitely help you to connect to your wi-fi successfully on your asus computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel